Here's the famous Schrodinger cat paradox, which developed by Schrodinger, who didn't really like the probabilistic interpretation of the wave function. Remember, Born said that the wave function squared just gives you the probability of finding a particle somewhere in space, doesn't give you any certainty at all. So Schrodinger thought up this uh, thought experiment, which sort of illustrates what the problem he had and others have with quantum mechanics. All right, so Schrodinger cat paradox. Here's a box, and in the box there's a cat. Uh, not quite sure how to draw a cat, but anyway, there's a cat. Looks like a bird, doesn't it? And uh, also within this box, there is a device which gives you um, that in one hour, there's a 50% chance that the um, device will go off and kill the cat. So after one hour, there's a 50% chance that the cat will be dead and another 50% chance that the cat will be alive. Now, um, if we recall our discussion on basis sets, there are essentially two uh, eigenfunctions for this basis set. There's a wave function corresponding to the dead cat and there's a wave function corresponding to a live cat. Quantum mechanics says that the, and this is the basis set vectors, let's call this a basis set. Quantum mechanics says that uh, the wave function for this system, this is a sealed system, uh, is uh, one half, the cat actually will find out, actually should be one over square root of two. Uh, we'll find out later in the course why that is times the wave function of the dead cat plus 1 over the square root of 2 times the wave function of the live cat. All right, in other words, quantum mechanics says the cat is half dead and half alive. Go figure. If we go back to our basis set vectors, here is the uh, dead cat. We'll make this two dimensions here. Psi dead. And over here, this is psi alive. The um, wave function for the system is half alive and half dead. So there is the wave function, psi. It's represented as a linear combination. I should actually put it out here. So uh, let me be a little more accurate in my drawing. Let's go out here. The wave function of the system is sitting up there. It's half alive and half dead. Now, after one hour, if you open this box, the cat clearly will be in one of these two eigenvalues or one of these two eigenstates. It will have an eigenvalue of either dead or alive. So you open this up, it will either be one or the other. But quantum mechanics cannot tell you which one it will be. The probabilistic in interpretation of quantum mechanics says, oh, it's half alive and half dead. We know that the cat is either alive or dead. It has to be one of those two observables, alive or dead. And in fact, when we open it up, you might think that the actual uh, observation, the actual act of observing the cat, either makes the cat alive or dead. That's called the measurement problem in quantum mechanics. If you measure something, do you then uh, force it to one of these eigenstates? Anyway, that's a uh, problem, a conceptual problem in quantum mechanics. Uh, it, the conceptual problem is not, uh, hasn't been totally um, resolved yet, and uh, if you look at the Wikipedia article on interpretations of quantum mechanics, you'll see some other interpretations. What we're going to do is interpret the um, wave function, the square of the wave function, as the probability density, and observation will give you only one of the two. It's the act of observing which uh, allows you to measure one of these two eigenvalues, either alive or dead.